Hello YouTubers, taking a quick look at the MFJ VersaTuner 3 model MFJ962. Now this is not a lettered model, it's not A, B, C, D. This is the original. And uh, there, is an, uh, there is a Model D, I think, out now, which has the roller inductor. This does not have that. This has the uh, old style 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 matching on both left and right and the inductor which is a uh, kind of what you see on the cheaper models today but i like this i don't like have to, having to spin a roller inductor around and it still works just great it also has the uh really old style swr meter which does not have cross needles um i kind of am mixed on that whether or not i like it but it seems to be accurate so i'm going to uh show you how to work that today but i want to quickly tell you in the back it has a coax one a coax two input a balance line input with a ballon uh it's a four to one ballon um i'm assuming it's probably a voltage ballon but i'm not really sure it does work very well on my ladder line you'd rather have a current ballon for ladder line um, and uh, depends on what you have for lengths of wires uh, in the antenna on the legs, but uh, you may want a 1 to 1 or 4 to 1. But 4 to 1 works great for me. I've tested the impedance. Uh, it works great on my 34 foot by 34 foot doublet, which is a 3 by 15. Or is it 33 foot by 33 foot? I forget. But anyway, it works well there, uh, matching that impedance. Um, Okay, so let's take a look and see how you tune it. It's a little different than the MFJs we see today, generally. Uh, first, to tune it, you need to put it in set up here. And uh, you need to set it, and, and I apologize beforehand, uh, my cheap camera here on my phone goes out of focus. Um, after we do that, now you turn on your radio or have it on and uh, prepare to tune it. Now this SWR set button needs to be changed. And what you're going to need to do is when you put power into it, you're going to want to get that needle to pop up just about to where the red begins. So I want to do that. It's hard to do here with uh, the mic and hand. There we go. Right about there. That's perfect. Okay. Now we can go over to SWR and now it will give us an accurate SWR measurement of where we're at. We're at about 1.2 because I tuned it up already. Let's flip it over just, just to put it out of tune and you can see where it goes now. See, it's about 3 to 1 there. But I know from experience, here let me mess with the dials, it's going to be L and uh, on the inductor, so I'll put it there. I've got it out of tune on purpose. 1.5, now let me tune it down, there we go. And uh, you can change the antenna matching side too, to adjust it as well, uh, to get it into tune. Anyway, so there we are, we're at a 1 to 1, basically, right there, and uh, close enough. And uh, then, you can check your reflected power. Uh, by choosing the reflected side and if I were off tune a little bit and I click the reflected power it gives me uh, my reflected watts up here and we're at the 200 watt mode so we're looking at the bottom of the dial there so it's reflected probably about 7 watts or something like that uh, if I had the amp on then we could put it up to 2kW and we could see the reflected and we'd be looking at the top zone on the meter okay alright so here get back into focus there we go now the forward power is the same way. Uh, we're running just off the barefoot rig right now. Get into focus please. Thank you. Okay, so we're looking at the bottom numbers on the meter up here, 0 through 200. And uh, balance line, and we'll see what we're at. Uh, we're not in, um, I didn't, didn't uh, get the SWR right, did I? Let me adjust that since I kicked it back out. And there we go, close enough. Okay, now we'll go down to 200 here, and we'll see our power out. Uh, right now, yeah, I've got it uh, at about 30, 27 to 30 watts in there. Actually, I think I'm set at 25% on the ICOM 7300, so it's pretty close. I know the 7300 seems to run a little bit hotter than that, just above what I have in. Um, so just for giggles, I'll go ahead and change the wattage. I'll put it up to 100 watts. We'll see what we get here on the, the needle. Oh uh, yeah, about 105 or so. It's close. 105, 110. And uh, like I said, my ICOM 7300 seems to put out a little bit more in wattage than 100. Uh, so anyway, there you go. That's how you set it. And um, I like it. It's, it's a 1.5 kilowatt. The reason I got it was I got it cheap. Uh, it's a very old model. Uh, someone had smoked cigarettes in the past. When I opened it up, I could smell it. 
Um, I had to clean the post off in the back. That was an issue. Uh, the uh, coax connectors in the back are riveted rather than screwed in and one of them was kind of loose. The rivet was loose so I took a piece of folded over copper. Uh, I had some thin 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 copper uh, like not like paper but a little thicker than that and I folded it over and shoved it in there and uh, that works great to keep it solid. So uh, that's something you want to check in the back is the coax connectors. Do they wiggle or not? But uh, otherwise, it's great. It's handled 750 watts just fine. It says 1.5 kilowatt series, but uh, you know, those are MFJ watts, right? Uh, but 750 seems to be no issues at all. Haven't had any problems with it. Um, I shipped it from the USA to Korea when I came here on the flight, and it uh, broke one of the uh, connecting wires inside between the antenna matching part and uh, somewhere inside, and I had to go in and solder that. Uh, that was something that happened in transit, so my fault. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's been a good tuner for what it was. I think I paid $130 for it used off of QRZ. So this is the MFJ model 962. The original model, not A, not B, not C, not D. It's just MFJ 962. If you get one, good luck with it. I hope you enjoy it. 73s.